You ever have these little gas struts and they go bad and you don't really want to mess with buying new ones? You see it, they've got wetness from the oil leaking and sitting out in the sun they just went bad. What I've derived is a good way to fix them. I kind of made this up is you just get a hose that fits over them. For example this one's a 3 8 inch hose. It works really well. But what I do is I make a little hose that's the length of the thing. Um, however big I want it to be when it's extended and then make a slit down the end of it and then little V's on the end so just push it in there and then open your thing to height and then it just holds it just like that that way you don't have to spend 20 40 60 80 dollars just to have these things stay up you just cut a little pieces of hose and stick them on and call them good because if you put new ones in they're just going to go bad like the other ones did. These didn't last very long. And then I tie a string on the end of it and then just hang it from the little bracket so that it's always just right there. I do the tin foil on the windows of this camper setup because they block the light and they're really light. It doesn't take a whole lot of weight to put the foil on there. I just use the HVAC foil tape. It holds it on beauty and then for the inside I do a little insulation and then the way it works out is it stays nice and cool in here and that way when I'm in the summer and staying parked it doesn't get too hot you can sleep in without getting hot in the morning and uh, it works out pretty good there's a little detail shot of the way I did these so it's good for privacy it's good for keeping it cool if you leave your coolers and stuff in here, it's like a little, you know, cool space for them. So that the sun doesn't make your coolers, you know, get hot prematurely. When you live in the desert like me, it's nice to have it be like that. So, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm gonna go play. I'm gonna go sleep in someplace.